Okay, hello everybody. I'm getting ready to go shopping and I'm going to throw on my wig for the day and I thought that I would come to you and show you what wig it is and how I style her and what I've done to her. So let's go ahead and get started. The wig is going to be a Vivica Fox wig and it is the wig Brie. Uh, first I'm going to show you a stock photo. Now this is the photo that you'll see when you look her up online. Vivica Fox Brie. I got her in the color TP61327. It's the bag. And that's the color. Now, here she is. I have straightened her. So she was wavy, curly, flippy, kind of almost like a Marilyn Monroe flips everywhere. I will insert a picture of what she looked like before I manipulated her. Okay, so she is approximately 16 inches long. She has some bangs and a lot of layers. It's a close-up of the color. It's like a strawberry blonde. And then it goes down into a lighter blonde at the bottom. I think that's what TP stands for. It means like tipped. So like the little ends are a lot, a lot lighter than up through this area. <clears throat> now, I've seen another person do a review on this wig, and uh, she did the same thing. She straightened it. Um, now, what I noticed on this wig is it has the little skin patch at the top. But you can see how big this skin patch is on the inside. It's really not big. It's just a small, so you can't really part it. Because then up here, you know, they got the little permatease, so your hairline is, like, really... Mm -mm. And then what I didn't like about mine is where the skin patch is, if you even remotely move the hair just a bit, all the tracks are right there. So the track start is immediately as soon as you get past this little skin part. And you can see them terribly. So what I did to cover it up was I used some root spray and gave her roots. Um, I cannot wear this wig like this. I wear her a special way. So let's look at the inside. She comes with no combs. I have put two clips in it myself up here at the bangs because uh, I've, I've been wearing her like a half wig. So I leave my hair out around the front, set it a little bit back, clip, clip, and yeah. So she has the adjustable straps, the open wefting, and the bendable ear tabs at the sides. So just your typical standard wig. So I will show you how I wear her. So first of all, I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair around my face. And some people say, why do you even wear wigs? Well, That'll be another video. So, just kind of gonna section her off. You can see what I'm doing through this mob of a mess here. All right, so. I'm going to twist her, my hair up. And then I'm going to use this type of uh, barrette. And I'm just going to secure all my hair up. I will not be wearing a wig cap today. And let me see. I'm going to put another bit barrette. If I can see. Put another barrette in here somewhere just to keep my hair 
sick here. Okay, so I have my hair. So it's kind of sticking up a little bit right here. All right, so here it is. This is what I'm leaving out. I know it's a mess. My hair is super thin and breaking and horrible. Okay, so on to the wig. The fibers are very, very soft. It's heat resistant, so that's how I was able to straighten it. Ooh. Anyhow, so she does not tangle. Um, if you brush her, she stays soft the whole time. Yeah, I wore her the other day. She stayed soft the whole day. No tangles. Just a just a little bit of tangling up in the nape of the neck, but that's about it. So I installed these clips myself. Because that's what I'm going to use to pin into my hair up here just to help with sec security so that it doesn't shift around or fall off. Because this is not a half wig. And if you try to make a whole wig into a half wig, you have a lot of movement. So, and how I did this, I'm not good at sewing, so I swear this works really good. This is just like a super glue, but it's gel so that it doesn't run all over the place. And you buy the little clips. And then you just put a small little thin little line right along there. And like I said, make sure if you use this, it's the gel super glue. If you use the other kind, it will run all over and get on everything. And then you just place it where you want it to, to be and you just hold it for 30 seconds, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and it's not coming off. I swear, trust me. I have made my own hair extensions where I watched a video where someone did that and I thought, no way, those are gonna fall off, they're not gonna stay. As Soon as you wash it, the glue's gonna come undone. Trust me, they will not come off. You can wash it a thousand times, these, these are not coming off. Okay. So, I keep the clips closed as I'm putting it on, otherwise they pull your hair as you're trying to get it on. So, here we go. There's one thing I'll say about this wig, too, is it's it's not small head friendly. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I'm even thinking about putting more clips in it because it's just huge, and I have it on the tightest. It's just huge. Okay, so here's my hair. Now I'm going to find the little clips that I put in here. Snap, clip, snap, clip. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to brush my sides in with the hair. Give it a really good brush. And this is what I'm going to do to her. Small little rubber band. I'm going to section my bangs and the wig bangs. going to pull them back and put them into a pony. Now, this is how I've been wearing it. Pull it down nice and tight. Here's all the hair. And I even had taken some little edge control pomade by Murray's. This is like hair glue. I'm seeing glue. If you put this on your hair, oh my gosh. So <laughs> what I do is I put it on my edges like this. <laughs> Just these little edges here. And then you can, you know, use like a toothbrush. If you want to just kind of 
press them down and make them behave. So, and then I just kind of pull a little bit of my bangs back out so that it's kind of bunchy. So, because once you pull the wig, I don't know if you can see in there, but you can see the tracks. Oh yeah, it's really bad right there. So, pull this, pull this and kind of make it. And then, uh, when in doubt, you can use your the little root spray. I've got this Ever Pro Beauty Gray Away, and believe it or not, I got this from the dollar store. Yeah, it's a uh, temporary root concealer, lightest brown, medium blonde. And uh, yeah, I got this from the dollar store. So if you have a little area where where it's showing. Just kind of give yourself some some little roots. And then you can just pull some of this hair back out so it's kind of messy. And this is how I've been wearing it. I'll give you a quick little spin around. Like I said, here's my sides. Kind of blend it in. So my hair does a pretty good job at blending in with this. Do a little bit of a spin around for you. Okay, so here's my left side. It's my right side. And then here's what the back looks like. there you have it. You can do anything to your wigs and customize them and make them your own. So, and once you get really good with your blending techniques, if you can find wigs that are close enough to your own hair color, even if your hair is not exactly the same, my hair is not exactly the same as this, but it works. Make it your own. All right, thanks for watching. I am off to go shopping. Bye. Look at all your babies. You're lazy. You're lazy. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're lazy. Lazy. Bye.